grandfather. My grandfather was born in a very, very poor situation. Um, his parents emigrated to India in about 1890. Uh, they became destitute in India, uh, and he was sent to an orphanage, and he had no money, no prospects, and very little education. But he was lucky. Some, somebody picked him up at the age of around about 12, and they sent him to school. He still had no money. But to cut a long story short, by the time he was 50, he was a millionaire. Okay. He worked hard, he was clever, and he understood that the opportunities that had been provided to him uh, were enough to make him a successful person. No matter the background, no matter the poor background that he came from. Okay. So what I'm trying to say to you guys is that anything is possible. And if you set your mind to it, you're clever, uh, you have an education, the benefit of an education, and you can do amazing things. So we hope in 10 years' time you'll be coming back to Old Pejita to tell us and the, the future bursary students from this area how you were given this opportunity by Old Pejita and you made use of that opportunity to become successful people in your own life. And as I say, we're very proud to be able to give you that opportunity and we hope very much that you'll take that opportunity um, and make it work for you. The last thing I want to say and I want everybody to understand is, is where the money for the bursary, uh, the bursary program comes from. It comes because of the wildlife. Um, the reason people donate is because they believe that in order for wildlife uh, to continue to thrive in Kenya as an important basis for the tourism industry, then people must be educated. And most importantly, people living around the community, around the conservancies and around the national parks should be given opportunity to benefit from those national parks, from those concerns. So that's why they're donating money. So you're here today because the lion and the elephant and the rhino are paying your school fees. And I, I'd like you to understand that. In future, you people will be the ambassadors for wildlife. Okay. Wildlife is very threatened across the whole world. Many of you will have read about the problems facing rhino poach, uh, facing the problems of rhino poaching, the problems of elephant poaching in Kenya today. Um, it's a very real problem, and we're losing our heritage as a result. And you people can be the ambassadors of the future to protect wildlife. So I'd like you to understand the connection between your presence here and the wildlife. And hopefully in the future, some of you will grow up to support the continued existence and protection of that wildlife in Kenya. Thank you, Project Kenya Sister School.